was Mother's Day and you waited till the last minute with your busy lifestyle of running around with kids, bringing them to sports practices or working, or I don't know, an eight week online speech course. You also don't have much money to spend and you ran out of ran out of ideas because you want to make this gift perfect and special from the heart. If you ever ran into this dilemma, you're not the only one. Um, a couple of years ago, I made stepping stones for Mother's Day, and you never can go wrong with that. So now, I will be showing you how to make stepping stones. This craft is a low cost, easy, and creative way to show how much you appreciate someone. I will inform you of what supplies you will need, and I will give you ideas on how to make your project more creative and unique, while guiding you step by step of the processes of how to make these stepping stones. First, you need to gather your supplies. You will need your concrete, um, a bucket to put the concrete on. You will need a mold, a small shovel or spoon, um, something to lay down on the table so you don't get it dirty, like a newspaper or something. Measuring cup to mix your concrete in, water, and your decorating items. Um, first thing is your mix. Now I've already mixed the concrete. Um, I usually just put the concrete in first and kind of wing it. I put water in and mix it and try to get the right consistency. You don't want it too watery, um, but you don't want it too dry either, or you can't stick anything in it. It's about the consistency you will want it. Um, there's different types of concrete mixes you can use. You can get stuff from craft stores meant specifically for molds, but um, they're more expensive and you can't make as many um, with those kinds. If you want to make a lot, get real cement from a hardware store, and there's cement and then there's concrete. Cement is more of a smooth um, type of concrete without the rocks. Concrete has rocks in it. And I actually use quickcrete because um, it dries faster and it's cheaper. Um, and I actually like the rocks in it because I think it makes it look kind of pretty. You can also use plaster of Paris, but I don't recommend plaster of Paris because it is easily breakable and it crumbles. Um, so the first thing is you want to put your cement into your pie pan or your mold. You can use any mold. I prefer a pie pan, a disposable one, because you can easily um, reuse it over and over again. Also, it is flexible, so when you're ready to take it out, it's easy to take out. Now you want to fill your mold up about three-fourths of the way, maybe halfway, about an inch thick. And then you want to smooth it out. Okay. I did it about halfway. So you want to smooth it out, make sure it's flat and even. Now you can start the decorating, which is the best part. Now there's a whole bunch of decorating tools you can use. The most common, which I have here today, are rocks. I have colored rocks, um, flat gems, embellishments. Uh, like little flower jewels, um, rocks, and again, these are like gemstones. So you just stick them in almost all the way so it will stay in there, but you want it enough so it will show. So I stick it in about three fourths of the way down to where just the top is showing. And you can decorate it however you want. Um, other things you can use are, there's, uh, you can use any craft material like beads, anything relatively flat, um, shells, leaves, popsicle sticks, 
Also, you can go to the Goodwill store and find just about anything, anything that you want to think of. Like, I took um, knickknacks, old knickknacks, and broke them apart. And, like, this example, I found a cross at Goodwill, and something was attached to this butterfly, and I took it off there, and I used those to put them into my stones. Um, so you can find anything and reuse that type of stuff. Also, if you want to make mosaic type of designs, you can use mosaic tiles. Or what's cheaper is crushed up plates. And that way, again, you're recycling something if you're not going to, if you're going to throw away plates. Um, stained glass is also another one. Um, if you want to put somebody's name in your mold or any name, um, refrigerator magnets you can use the letters that you put on the on the um, refrigerator. Also, if you want to make it special, like unique for that particular person you're giving it to, you can put pictures and photos in there. Put it in a plastic um, thing, and um, you can do hand prints and paw prints. You can also do themes, like frog theme, or a dog theme, if you have a dog that's about to pass away, or just in general, a dog theme. You can use put a paw print into your mold and use dog biscuits and put them around, and maybe put the name of the dog in there. You can also use cookie cutters and stencils, and if you want if you don't want your stone the normal gray it is, you can color it by dyes, or you can use patio paint and paint like engraved letters in there. If you mess up, like if you're putting stuff in and you mess up, you can always redo it, you take it out, smooth it back out, and start over. Um, and then once you get everything in, you're done. Um, you wait about two days till you take it out. It will be dry probably before the end of the day, but, uh, so if Mother's Day is tomorrow, you can still get it out, but I recommend at least two days at the most, just so um, it doesn't break, because sometimes it appears to be dry, but the middle is soft, so. You can also use, this idea for birthdays or any other special occasion and also you can sell them if you get good enough at it. I started rambling at the end but I'm like I'm not going to stop now. No, no.